Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about something called the Malusaurus. Now in short, this was a dinosaur that was created during the development for what would ultimately become Jurassic World. Before Colin Trevorrow would hop on board to rewrite the already existing Jurassic Park 4 script, the idea was that a paleontologist would dig up the bones of a completely made up animal from China that doesn't exist in the fossil record. This dinosaur went through quite a lot of different designs, but it was always known as the Malusaurus. Essentially, this is what was originally set in motion as the big bad dinosaur that would tear down the establishment and run amok while the park was open. Designs for the creature range from pretty interesting theropod to totally weird and unique body types. The most recognizable and probably popular of these has to be the reddish horned animal that has a very noticeable bump on its back. You can see here at this early design phase that the artists were really channeling some of those JP3 Spinosaurus vibes. And I gotta admit, this would make for one seriously cool hybrid. Now, apart from this reddish version, they actually toyed with some more beige or white colors before scaling the Malusaurus back to something a little less alien and a little more animal. And this is where you can really see how it would morph into what we all would recognize as the infamous Indominus Rex. So the story is that as soon as Trevorrow came on to direct the project, he actually went forward to Spielberg and Frank Marshall telling them that he needed to completely rewrite the movie in order to deliver something that he actually believed in and actually felt like he could make. So all of the backstory of a completely fictitious Chinese dinosaur was tossed out in favor of something that wouldn't have to lie to the audience and pretend like it really existed. Instead, Colin chose to riff on some of the Michael Crichton themes from the original novel that involved John Hammond and Dr. Henry Wu discussing what is known as version 4.4, which is basically a protocol Wu wanted to put into place so that he could make what he called, quote, better dinosaurs that the park guests would actually like to see. And with the story being changed from making an animal up from scratch to exploring these novel ideas, the Malusaurus would evolve into the Indominus. But before that was actually completed, the JP4 Dino would undergo some more designs that were kind of a mix between the Spino version and the final form of the Irex. One such creation happened to feature a really bizarre looking animal that, in my opinion, kind of looks like a super soldier version of a monolophosaurus. This version of the Malusaur was gray, and the hump on its back had kind of morphed into what looks similar to that of an acrocanthosaur. The tail also had some noteworthy spikes that we don't really see in the final version. Now, another design would be far more colorful and a bit more related to what we would see on the screen. This yellow and blue guy came with a ton of quills and a really different skull shape. The iguana-like pouch underneath its throat is also a big difference to what we'd see the Malusaurus look like before. Eventually, this dinosaur would be renamed as the Diabolus Rex, and that would eventually change into the hybrid that we all saw on screen in 2015. If you're interested in checking out these designs for yourself, please check out the concept artist's website, which will of course be linked down in the description below. Honestly, I really love all of these designs that were cooked up during the fourth film's development. And I think they all make interesting creatures in their own right. It's a shame that we can't have some sort of new side story feature all of them as unique clones, but at least we still got the Indominus out of all of this hard work. But what do all of you guys think about this early prototype dinosaur? Do you think that it would have been a better design than what we saw in the final film? Or are you happy with what we ended up with? Whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all even continue to watch these videos. And I want to thank each and every one of you for all of your continued support. Now I'd like to thank all of you for watching this video and hope you all enjoy today's content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you on the next one guys, and as always... Take it easy.